In my lab, we study comparative anatomy and functional morphology. So comparative anatomy means that we study uh, how one species uh, looks relative to another. Um, and then functional morphology is we study how different pieces of anatomy allow for different types of behavior. The first level of true deadness is uh, freshly dead, so we'll do dissections of um, the soft tissues of animals, and then we'll do uh, more dead than that are like bones and teeth, and then the most dead are fossils. And so we'll study the, um, for instance, the masticatory abilities, the feeding abilities of extinct species. At a wonderful university like NC State, it takes all different types of expertise. It takes some of us to be really like kind of bookish and other ones to be really very public and open. It takes some of us, um, we have, I have some colleagues who are really fantastic at mentoring graduate students. Um, I take pride in mentoring undergraduates um, especially. And another one of the aspects of my work that I really take pride in is visual representation of our science. And so um, I do a lot of, uh, a lot of drawing and um, creation of uh, the best kind of scientific visualization that I can of our research. So we'll do reconstructions of um, CT scans, etc. cetera. Um, when I study extinct species, I'll reconstruct sort of the life, ex uh, per the life appearance of those species. I always think of our lab as kind of um, an academic family. So it sounds kind of hokey, but I like to think of myself kind of like the um, academic father of the lab. And um, just like you don't always get along with your actual parents, um, but your actual parents always kind of have your best interest at heart. That's how I think of all my students. Um, of course, you know, I want my students to like me, but what's more important to me is that I help them be as successful as possible. So I push my students pretty hard. I have high expectations for them. Um, but in the end, uh, my students tend to be really wildly successful. Students are always unprepared for starting out something new. The first time you start classes, um, you feel like you know you might be the least prepared person in the room. Um, the first time you step into a research lab, you're going to feel like you're the least prepared person uh, to step into that in, into that space as well. And um, the truth is that that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, you you join these experiences, and it is our job. It is it's my job as the PI. It's um, other more senior students' jobs to help you get up to speed. And so you shouldn't be afraid. To, um, to start out. You shouldn't let that paralyze you because um, the earlier you start um, and the more fully invested you become, um, the quicker it, it is that you get up to speed and eventually if you start you know, as a freshman or a sophomore in a research lab like this, um, then by the time you are ready to graduate, you're truly going to be ready for graduate school or medical school. I think NC State is really great for research for a number of reasons. First of all, I love that it is the big school in the system, um, the biggest school in the state. Um, and that means that there are a huge number of different faculty members, um, and there is a, a wonderful diversity of the student body. I love how the students here at NC State are from all over the place, but especially all over North Carolina, from different um, academic backgrounds, different family backgrounds, different interests. Um, and so NC State has a diversity of opportunities and a diversity of people that are excited about filling those opportunities. The university is really dedicated to um, there's, we have our own undergraduate research office that has uh, different financial support for different types of endeavors if you want to go to conferences, etc. Um, there's wonderful study abroad options. So there are a lot of opportunities for students to get kind of an intensity of an academic and research experience. Um, and I just wish that more students would partake in them. <laughs>